Hey everyone, Mitchell Gould here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can boost a LinkedIn organic post. So let's jump right into it. In the description below of this video, I'm gonna put two resources here. So one's this LinkedIn PDF. This is uh, from LinkedIn, all about boosting posts. So if you wanna skim through this, if you want some additional information, you can uh, take a look at that PDF. And then also I'll put this resource in here. This is from LinkedIn and goes over um, some details about boosting a post as well. A couple notes about boosting a post. So as you can see here at this time, only posts with text, single images, events, videos, documents, or LinkedIn articles can be boosted. And previously boosted posts can't be boosted again. So a couple notes to consider when um, thinking about boosting a post. So if you're not familiar with boosting a post, boosting a post allows you to get additional reach in front of your audience. It's a simpler version than creating ads. There's less features and less things that you can choose when boosting a post in terms of audience targeting and objectives. Whereas if you create in the campaign manager, it's more complex and there's more things that you can adjust and optimize. But boosting posts is a good option if you don't want to get into the complexities of ad management and you don't want to work with a, a ad specialist like myself or an agency and you just want to get some additional reach, then boosting posts is a good option. So now let's go in there and actually boost a post. So you're going to go to the company page that you want to boost the post and then you're going to look at the post that you want to boost. And so I see this one here on this company page and then in the top right hand corner, it says boost. So you click that. And then first you have to select an objective. So you can either increase awareness of your post or get more engagement, some more clicks, more likes. Uh, right now I'm gonna keep it on increase awareness. And then you can select an audience based off profile attributes, interest-based audience template or a saved audience. Most people will probably select the profile base, so I'll keep it on that. And then you can select your location and then you can select your job titles, company industry, seniorities and functions for this. I'm going to search for uh, CEOs. So I'll select job titles of chief executive officers. And let's say I want a particular industry. So I'm going to say uh, technology and do technology, information, and internet. So reaching people in, in that industry that have chief executive officer. So this is an and function. So they're in the United States, they're in this industry, and they're chief executive officers. Then you can make some exclusions like locations, uh, other company industries and other job titles. So maybe you want to exclude uh, a couple of states within the US. You could do that here. And then this is a real important section here, the advanced options. I always keep automatic audience expansion off. That's going to allow LinkedIn to expand beyond what you put up here in your audience definition. So we want to keep that off. We don't want LinkedIn to expand that. And then I also disable the include LinkedIn audience network. The audience network is going to show your ads on third party websites and mobile apps. And in the boosting the post option, you can't exclude any placement categories. If you do it in campaign manager, you can, but in almost all cases, I keep the LinkedIn audience network off because we want our boosted post to only show on the LinkedIn feed. We don't want to show it on another website or a mobile app. So we'll keep both of those off. And then you select your date range for how long you want the, the boosted post to run. So we'll say we want it to run from 3.29 to uh, just a couple of days here. And then we'll put a budget in. So I'm gonna put $10, but it's not gonna allow me to do that because you need at least a minimum of $10 per day. So it's gonna say I need at least $50 to run it through this time frame. So I'll go ahead and put $50 there. And then you can select an account to bill. So um, if you don't have a, a campaign manager account created, it should create one automatically for you and you can continue to payment. If you already have an ad account and I select this one that I already have, it already has billing set up. If I click boost, it's gonna just start to boost it. So in most cases, you probably don't have a campaign manager set up. So I'll go back to um, this other account here that doesn't have billing set up and then I'll click continue to payment. So this is gonna set up the billing for the account. So I'll put in a business name and then I'll put my address in. So now I have my billing, my, my address there and then I'll put my payment method in. So I put my billing information in, now I'll click add card. Now I have both my billing information, my payment method set up. So then you can click boost and I'm not gonna click in this example, but it will start boosting your ad. 
And then if you want to see the performance and see like the, the impressions, the reach that you're getting from the boosted post, you can go into the campaign manager and you can see the data for your boosted post. So one way to get there is if you're in your profile on LinkedIn, you should see this advertise button here and that will open up the campaign manager. It's also under the for business. If you click that, you'll see advertise on LinkedIn. So that will bring you into the campaign manager section where the boosted post is gonna have the analytics for it. So if you have any questions on that about boosting a post or about LinkedIn ads, please put them in the comment section and I'd be happy to help you out. All right, thanks for watching. Have a great day.